Hey, Vir Vir Virgo. Virgo fam. Wow. Maybe I'm done talking for the night. Oh, it's been an interesting day. I think Mercury retrograde is already getting to me. It's just the shadow period. It's been such an interesting day. It was like one of those days where I just didn't feel like a Virgo because everything was so not perfect. So not perfect. In fact, it was all upside down. <laughs> so let's talk December. Let's talk December. What's going on? I know we've had some really big things happen in November. And decisions to make. And opportunities to go towards. And life to be had. So what did we choose? You want to find out? I want to find out what we chose. <laughs> Oh, my, my, my. Okay. So we have the moon. And we have the devil. <laughs> what a way to start December, Virgos. <laughs> awesome. So something is being kept in the dark. It doesn't have to be a secret. But I feel like there is probably something that either someone else needs to say or you need to say to somebody else. Maybe this has already happened. Um, the devil is telling me that this is possibly something that you felt really bound to. It's a situation that you feel very, very close to. And sometimes it could be very turbulent, like bring out your shadow side, bring out that devil side of a Virgo that we all know we have. And we're holding on to it really tightly with the four of pentacles. And it could be a work situation, but I'm not so sure because we also have the Knight of Cups and we have the Page of Cups. So it's something that you're really emotionally invested in. And um, it's really a situation that has has been tough, but you're holding on to it um, almost in a very possessive kind of way. So <clears throat> when we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, it seems like Maybe there are two different scenarios that could, could be happening here. Um, if this is in a relationship, one person wants to offer a little bit more love than the other. Or one person feels like they're offering or being offered more love than they want to offer. Um, or maybe can offer. But when it's like that and you're holding on to it and you're like, I don't want to let this go. Like if you're the Virgo that's not offering a lot of love to a person that's giving you more and you're not letting go of that person, why? What's the obsession around it? Could be vice versa. I could be talking either or, either way. This could be with work because Virgos get emotionally invested in work. Ace of Pentacles, a new offer, a new beginning, a new start, something fresh. You could be focused on work because of this emotional page of cups, knight of cups offering. The magician and the high priestess, these two work together. They're, you know, like co-workers. They could be like your work wife, your work husband, one is manifesting things, making things into reality. The other one is the intuitive one that is saying, this is what I think we should do. It could be a manipulative situation. One could be manipulating the other. We also have an ace of wands. I do recall in the beginning of November, we had lots of aces come out. So there could be a very fiery, passionate new beginning coming, a new start, a new spark. And it could be in love. It could be in work. You could be very passionate about something that you personally are starting that could build an income. But if you're doing that and you're kind of keeping it under wraps, you might want to watch out for those people that do find out when that you're keeping it under wraps and they try to shoot you down 
or the people that you that know you're doing this and they try to shoot you down. Like, don't get caught up in the hype. If you've got something going that's really good, don't let people bring you into your shadow side because I feel like there could be a very depressive quality about this devil. Because Virgos do like to be perfect. And if it seems as though we're not perfect on the outside and somebody criticizes us, although we are very good at criticizing others, reality, truth, hashtag. <laughs> um, when a Virgo is criticized and it's not constructive, because we like constructive criticism, tell us how we can better ourselves in a very constructive way and we're all about it. All about learning about ourselves, all about learning about other opportunities. But if it's not in a constructive way and it's just kind of a way to beat you down, don't get caught up in it. Try and fight that. Don't hold on to that very nasty feeling inside of you. You know, if you are manifesting something into your reality that you intuitively know is right for you, don't let somebody come along and be like, eh, the page of pentacles. This is kind of the offering of a new beginning as well. Might be a little smaller than the ace of pentacles, but whatever you're doing is going to start off small and then it's going to grow and grow and grow. Just make sure that you're not obsessing over it, not obsessing over money. You could be saving your money. Maybe you're kind of in a financial bind right now and you're really wishing for this Ace of Pentacles state. It's coming. I don't really think that you need to worry about that because once a Virgo gets motivated and gets moving, fire. I know, it's really weird because we're so grounded. Fly around like the wand. Two of Pentacles. It's, it's a juggling act. It's a juggling act. Um, do I go for the emotional side? Do I go for the material side? Eh. Are you, are you putting this on the back burner again? Are we putting this on the back burner again? Are we still putting this on the back burner? Because, you know, the moon also speaks of emotions. Are you keeping your emotions under wraps and only focusing on what you personally are manifesting? Virgo, we talked about this in November. It's still November, but we talked about this. If this rolls into December and you miss out on a great opportunity, possibly in love, this is not a love reading, but I'm just saying, in the love reading in November, we were doing the same damn thing. Nine of Wands. In the traditional tarot, the Nine of Wands is going through a battle, a war, and being all bloodied and bandaged and rusting. In this, she is still fighting that war, and she's caged in. And she's trying to defend herself. And she's so angry. What are you, why are you fighting? Who are you fighting? Are you fighting yourself? I don't, I don't, I'm... Why? Ten of Pentacles. Are you fighting for your money? Virgos. You want stability, yes. Yes, you want stability. We know. We know we want stability. Oh, oh, stability. We work so hard, the stability will come. The stability will come. Seven of Cups. Is this the war you're fighting? All of these many, many options that you have. Do I want to choose an option or do I want to get rid of all of them? That's literally what I just heard. I feel like you want to wipe the slate clean and just be like, screw it all. Screw it all. Be done with it. Out. My arm started tingling, like right here. I looked down, I was like, what is that? 
What is that, Virgos? Why is my arm tingling? Did somebody like hurt their arm right here? Tendinitis. Maybe that's just me. So I want to know what we're juggling. I want to know what these many options are. Options, options, what to choose. You guys are really focused on that money, aren't you? Because I don't even think that you care about the options. Like, you don't even want to look at them. You have such a direct focus on what you want to do right now and where you want to go, which is fantastic because Virgos don't often think about themselves. However, however, if we get totally caught up on not thinking about ourselves, on, on only thinking about ourselves, people are going to be like, where's Virgo? What happened to Virgo? Where'd she go? It's like she was here and she was being really nurturing and loving and kind and now she's just gone. Like what? That's so, I mean, yes, step into your own, step into your own grace. Excellent. Ace of Pentacles away. Let's do it. Let's get these Ace of Pentacles. Let's do it. All of these options in front of us. But what are you fighting? We have the Ace of Swords. Three aces now. The Ace of Swords is really cool in this deck. This is the Spellcaster's Tarot. Um, it's really fiery. And we also got the King of Cups. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <clears throat> Seems to me that there is some serious clarifying fiery energy happening with this King of Cups. Did an idea come to you? Did you speak it? Have you spoke it? Are you going to speak it? Is there something brewing in your head? Is that what you're fighting about? Is that what you're keeping inside? If this King of Cups is one of your, oh, so sorry, oh, my back hurts. Um, if this King of Cups is one of your options, but you're holding on to whatever you have inside, are you like juggling, do I say something, do I not say something? Um, this could be somebody that you work with and you're like, it could be your boss and you're like, oh, dude, I'm out. Try and tame the fire a little. I mean, you may be super pissed off. Try and tame the fire a little, though. Because I feel like your shadow side will come out sometime in December. It could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Who is one of your options. Very interesting here. The Knight of Wands. This is kind of an energy that comes and goes as it pleases. One day it's in, one day it's out. <laughs> is this what you're doing? Are you like coming into the office one day and being like, hi, I'm all sorts of here, kind of, you know, and then the next day you're like, yes, I'm ready to go. And then the next day you're like, nope, nope, not doing it. That's not emotionally fulfilling. If this is in a relationship where you're looking for stability, but you really feel like it's an in and out kind of course that's being taken then you really need to listen to your intuition and be like, I, you know, no wonder you're fighting with yourself on it. Listen to your intuition and know that. I mean, I, I just feel like that there is this hidden aspect of Virgos right now that they're really like, I just don't want to, I don't want to fuck with anybody else. I'm done. I just want it to be me. And then comes the two of cups. So there is a relationship. 
there is a relationship that could possibly be with a King of Cups that comes in in December or is already there. However, you're building your pentacles. You're building your stability. You're holding on really tightly to whatever you need to say. Or this person is holding on really tightly to whatever they need to say. And it is seriously making you feel like you have to fight. And fight and fight and fight. And if you're putting all of your energy into work. And fighting all the things that are going on inside you. That's exhausting. No. No thanks. So. <clears throat> what do we do? You tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I fight with myself all the time. That is the Ergo way. Analytical. Like the Seven of Cups here. I know it's a water card. But this is like the epitome of a Virgo. So many options. Which one do I choose? This one's really good. And this one's really good. And this, I mean, come on. Epitome of a Virgo. So, <clears throat> What are you fighting for? Are you fighting to save yourself from like self-destruction, self-sabotage? I feel like you're self-sabotaging yourself. Self, okay. Uh, because there's this relationship here and this relationship keeps popping up. And yet you're so focused on what you want to do, what's slipping away. You know, it's slipping away. Oh, I've got this fiery opportunity. There it goes. Virgos. Last one. I love you guys. So, we have the fool. And that guy's just about ready to fall off that mountain there. But do you see he's going from the daylight up here into the night? So he's jumping from clarity to the unknown, and he has no fear. So what if you chose an option that was a little less clear than the others and had no fear about it and didn't just focus on one thing. Ace of Cups. <clears throat> right before you jump into that, what about the tower falling first? What is so unstable that had to come down? Is it within you? Is it in a relationship that needed to be rebuilt? Is it in a relationship that you're holding on to that you should let go of? I don't know, but from what I'm seeing here with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups, there is a new welling up inside of you. I feel like it's really going to kind of shift. We have all four aces again, by the way. December seems like a pretty big month. And I think it's going to have a lot of decisions that you need to make. And it's going to be either financial stuff, material possessions, or love. And we've been grappling with this decision for months and months and months. So the end of 2017, can we just already make a decision on what we want to do and stop going through this cycle back and forth? Because I don't want the tower anymore. I don't want the tower anymore. <laughs> Judgment. If you can see that, the universe is like putting a little medicine dropper into that guy's mouth. Woman's mouth. I think it's woman. 
It's like giving you your medicine. It's time to take care of yourself. Call to action. It's time for you to be happy. Get your wishes, get your hopes and dreams. Get the star. What have you wished for? What have you been wishing for all year? M material stuff to hold on to your, all of your material stuff? Or are you gonna walk away from love? Or are you gonna walk away from your material stuff and into love? I don't know, two of swords. The cool thing about this two of swords is she's not blindfolded and she's not guarded, but she knows that she's being watched carefully and she knows she has to make a decision on which way to go. Where is she going to use her swords? She looks pretty confident though. So advice, whole bunch of beginnings, whole bunch of beginnings, financial beginnings, passionate beginnings, emotional beginnings, thoughts, amazing thoughts, ideas, and conversations. Open up to those conversations. Let the tower fall. Look within. Bring all of this stuff that's in the moon out already, Virgo. It's time. It's time to do it. Bring it up. Time to have a little bit of love in your life. That true love with it. And outwardly. So December. Uh, the reading prices for November and December are the same. There are still the specials down there. Thank you for everybody who has donated. I really appreciate it. Having doing this full time is so amazing. And um, it keeps me really busy and I wouldn't be able to have a full time job on top of this. So the donations are truly, truly, truly appreciated. And if you aren't ready for a reading, but you would like to donate, the link is below. All the reading prices are also below and email me for a reading. Um, gift certificates for birthdays or the holidays. Um, and I will um, use the November and December specials for the gift certificates if you get them in November and December. Um, Instant Go app. If you use the app, it's for iPhone users, all the information is also in the box. If you use the app, make sure when you text me um, that you put all of the information in there, the sun signs, the sun sign of whoever you are with, um, or you're asking the question about and, uh, and the question, because each answer, each text and answer is another, is a new price. So I don't want to gouge you. And I feel really bad when people like say, I have a question for you and then don't give me the question. And it's like, okay. So, um, yeah, make sure you are doing that. And I am traveling in December. Um, starting off in Iowa, um, the first weekend in December and then the middle of December, I'll be in Pennsylvania. Not really sure the dates yet, but it'll be around there. And then the East coast starts after the first of the year. So if you would like for me to stop by, let me know, email me. I'll see what I can do. We'll hammer out the details. Um, have a really great rest of the November, rest of your November, since it is the middle of November still. And um, I will see you guys for your love readings. Let's hope we have a little bit of love showing up. Bye.